kind of just rolling right with when you know your progression you were the Modesto nuts coach 2017 2018 travelers in 2019 during your time with the travelers was when logan gilbert was coming through and he made the stop with the travelers there what was your first impression of of gilbert and his progression throughout that level Oof, yeah um I feel like Gilbert and Cal both kind of showed up at the same time, um, kind of the second half of the second half. Uh, Logan started the year in, in low A, which was West Virginia at that time, uh, and then pitched a ton in Modesto. Cal caught and hit like 8,000 homers in Modesto. <laughs> that summer. Uh, and and the Cal League is tough the, uh, on – it's it's really their 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 first full season um and it's especially coming from florida like it's a different hot it is yeah it's hair dryer following you around hot <laughs> uh, and so those guys once they got to the texas league which is that humid dense heat uh they were worn out man uh and i i don't think either one of them would would shy away from that answer um they were a little smoked once they got to to little rock so i don't we didn't see the best versions of those guys then but you saw flashes um biggest thing of my intro to logan gilbert was his his work ethic and his <sighs> unyielding it didn't matter if it was 120 he was going to be in the bullpen doing his drill sets um and it wasn't five or six drills. Like this was a 25, 30 minute focus session. Um, it was the first time I'd seen that in in my coaching career. You know, you always see the guy on the other other mound, um, you know, doing towel drills or, or, you know, doing dry drills. And you're like, man, that guy, that guy's working his tail off. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Logan Gilbert like wiped his butt with those kids. It was... <laughs> It was it was impressive to see um, to see what what he had already kind of solidified as as a routine. Um, and again, like it didn't matter rain or shine, 120. Like he was he was sticking to his his process. Um, and then the games would come, and his fastball was absolutely electric and mowing down uh, you know double A hitters. Um, he didn't have much other than that fastball, but you know, for for four or five, six innings uh, once a week, it was it was fun to watch him absolutely blow doors. When you're releasing the ball thirty feet from home play, that kind of helps. <laughs> and 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 with that, also, can you talk to the, the the difference that the extension to home plate makes in you know someone like Gilbert versus someone who releases the ball closer to the, to the mound? Gilbert's throwing ninety seven. Does that look like a hundred to the batter compared to someone that's throwing ninety-seven, you know, further back? What's that look like? Yeah, that that ninety-seven has two, three less feet to get on you. You know, if the normal guy's got a six-foot extension, you know, he's releasing the ball fifty-four feet from home plate. Gilbert's releasing it at fifty-one, like fifty-two. He's got an extra two feet. Wow. less that the ball travels um which like like anything if you practice like you can you can start to time that up um but the the first couple months of him in the big leagues like you could just you see the the swings and the looks on guys faces like man that's different like that how did that get by me top of you yeah. uh you know we saw it with with bryce miller um his first month like that is just a unique fastball that um, even like third time through poor Ryan Noda with the ace, like just getting <laughs> doors blown. Um, it's a different heater. And, and that's Logan's extension. Um, and at that time he had, he had the 20 inches of ride, like he had uh, an overpowering fastball. Um, and it was, it was fun, especially that, that first month of the big leagues. Yeah, so walk us through 2021. Logan Gilbert only made one start in AAA that year. He he uh, made his debut that year. 
what, what was that experience like seeing him, you know, in double A compared to making his debut in the big leagues? Yeah. Um, I, I think majority of the time Logan was in the minor leagues, it was uh, developing the secondaries and, and working on, on whatever he can to, to develop those. Um, and he, uh, again, like he didn't have much time, man. He had one full season. Um, mm -hmm. And then COVID year, like, again, it happened to everybody. So uh, you had the, the alternate site to, to work on some things and do that. But um, it was just a, a, a never ending um, development of the secondaries and, and trying to that year 21 was more of of okay you've built all these shapes um and on paper good pitches like you had a sweeper with you know a bunch of horizontal you had a change up that he side spin with a bunch of horizontal you had this big slow curveball with depth um so really you had like this this compass of of movement um but he didn't he didn't have really command or control of it so it, it was about harnessing those pitches um and I mean, if we could just stay on the Logan Gilbert thing, like it was by the end of the year, it, it got better. But um, for him to make create those shapes, he had to change his slot um, to sweep it, to side spin it. Like so he was fighting different, not different deliveries, but different thoughts, different cues um, and different slots, which is it's not easy. Uh, guys do it. Guys have that athletic ability, have the, the ability to just kind of manipulate and change and, and anamorph. Um, Otani's a, a freak, but you see like eight different slider shapes from that guy every night. Um, yeah. So like it, but it was, it wasn't consistent for Logan. So 22 was, was more of, of bringing his shapes and his stuff more towards his fastball release and getting everything a little bit more tighter north south not trying to achieve all these gigantic shapes um, and got a little bit more into pitching and and using more than one pitch to pitch mm -hmm. uh and then that was 22 23 the off season last year is uh when he worked on the split right um, and kind of took all of 22 to find this bullet slider grip. Um, and I think it was like the last couple of weeks of the season found one that worked and was consistent that he could throw hard and just throw it right down the middle and let it work. Um, he's tough because he's got giant hands. So like <laughs> most normal grips that that guys use that you've demoed in the past like it just doesn't really work because his hand is so different uh right his release is different like we do a lot of of grip adjustments but like everybody's release is is completely different everybody goes about through ball release completely different so um anyways logan worked this past off season on a split um and that was a huge pitch for him this year. I thought the slider got extremely consistent. Um, and that's kind of been the, the, the journey of, of Gilbert. So he's, you know, debuts with one big fastball, um, starts kind of figuring out how his stuff works, starts consistently throwing ideal shapes of, of his arsenal and then can start adding pieces like the split this last year. Um, and who knows what we're going to see in 2024.